Hey everyone, this is what I got at the coffee morning yesterday. I've actually been looking at a couple of bits and I'm pretty impressed with myself really. Um, <coughs> everything was going for about 50p a pound. So I put £10 in and got quite a few bits to either sell on eBay, give to family, because that's what I like to do. Um, so yeah, I put £10 in and I got a really good sale, so I'll show you what I've got. This is just a top for my daughter, but it's way too small. My mum got it for her the other week, and she is in a size ladies 12, not a children's 12. And this is a Marx's, so I'll just get a couple of pounds for that, would thought. Got a pair of jeans. Whoops! Well, butter fingers. Got a pair of jeans. Um, but they might fit my daughter. They're a size 12. I am um, the lift and tuck technology, and they're from Peacocks, I think. Yes, Peacocks. Um, I like pedal pushers. So I might even put them away for summer. I got a cardigan. My daughter. She is ten, but she's really easy going with her clothes. And I thought that'd be nice for her just to snuggle up around in the house and wear after school. That's a size fourteen. But it's a Marxist, and it doesn't really matter. We're wearing it around the house anyway. We have got a skirt. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, my lights gone in the kitchen. Um, we have got a skirt by Ink Burnett, and it's size 14. It is a grey skirt. It comes with a flat at the front and a pleat at the back. Now, I'm actually thinking about giving it to my girl. See if she wants it for a for school maybe. I'm putting away for summer. These are ladies um, John Lewis trousers marked up at size 16 and they were £35 so I might put them on for about a tenner and they're like a flannelette with a wide leg. So nice and comfy trousers for the summer. That's what I've been doing like starting to gather things up for the summer. I've got some really heavy, quite heavy um, mom jeans long they are from Marks and Spencer size 16 they are just average jeans I won't get much room so I'll see if my daughter will like them might be a bit big for her and we'll see how they go I'm only going to put them on at a pound anyway so I've got some ladies shoes I don't really buy shoes shoes are not my thing really but they are Super comfort technology and they are flip fit flop. So like this and then they have this bit at the back and they do need a good clean. And then I've got these lovely other ones here. These are definitely not my cup of tea, like you can see in the mid inside. They are fit flops and they have the back a bit as well. They're alright for old ladies trying to get their legs built up. I think there are six they're a size six, and the other ones are a six and a half. Now I bought this for myself. Now I don't know if it'll fix it. I've got flabby arms, fit arms, big arms. But I like to listen to my music when I go for walking the dog, and I'm trying to get fitter. I will give you a story about it one day, but not yet. Um, so you put your phone in there, and then basically do that around your arm. I've got my earpods in. I'll go for what would... Uh oh. I'll go for the W-A-L-K with the D-O... D-O-G. Somebody's looking at me now. Then, I've got this. Upside down. <gasps> it is a crumb up pig. Now I'm going to try and sell it on eBay. It's never been used. And basically, you put it in switch on and you've got crumbs off your t work table and off your work top and it hooves your, hooves your crumbs off the work top so it goes I thought it was well nice it's brand new, out of the box Does it needs batteries but I'll be able to sell that on eBay so and I might put it on for a couple of quid so I'd say two, three pounds for that I just need to have a look what they're going for actually so yeah I got the pig 
gonna, you know, now. <sighs> what else have we got? Well, I got some very old books, children's books. Now they need a good clean and a good rub down. So I've got this one. Things that we like. And I've got Little Red Riding Hood. These are from... Does it say when they're from? 1958! Oh, they're old! Sorry if you're older than 1958, but... We, A1, we all have fun. Horses. William the Conqueror. I like that one. I might read that one. But it's all giving them away. Then we have Peter Pan. These are like the ones I used to read. You like the Puddle Lane books with the, the fairy. And then this is from. It doesn't say. Now that's not official. That's a Sleeping Beauty. It's very. <laughs> Yeah, it's, oh, I don't know, it's not the Disney Sleepy Beauty. It's from 1995. Yeah, it's, it's not the Disney one, but it is Sleepy Beauty. Unlike the other one I've got over there. And then we have the Shy Fox and the Big Little Hen. The Little Red Hen, not Big Little Hen. It does have a name inside, unfortunately. And that was 1993. That's when I first started high school. <laughs> and we got Telling the Time. And that was made in 1962. Older in law's given me a Kindle. Um, so I'm going to try and sell that for her. I think it's going to go for at least £17. There is one going for £17 on eBay. But I don't know. It's one of them. It's a bit hit and miss. It's the old version. So and I have no idea how to use it. So. If anybody asks me questions, I'm like, I don't know. Let's try and find something else. Myself, Joanne Hope, um, glittery top for Christmas Day. Because I don't really like buying for myself. I hate buying for myself. If you are the same, put a thumbs up. Because I hate buying for myself. But I thought, oh, this would be nice for Christmas Day. Nice and floaty with a pair of leggings, because that's what I always wear. A jumper and a pair of leggings is my is my go-to. So that's for me. After Christmas, I'll sell it, because that's what I do. Then I absolutely love, and I mean love, le leopard print. Any prints, zebra print, leopard print. Tabby cat print. <laughs> Tortoiseshell print. I love printed stuff. I just do. I just, I, I love it. So I've got myself a... Cami top. I don't know if it's gonna fit, but uh -huh. and then we, it is choices woman to excel because I am a bigger lady. Uh, but yeah, I thought that'd be lovely with a pair of jeans. Again, pair of leggings, <laughs> and then I've got a um, a walkometer, speedometer thing in my jig. So I've got one of them, and you put it on your wrist, I think. You can put it on your handbag, your wrist, your around your neck, or in your pocket. And it, it's just, just like a step thing. I just had a sneeze in it then, so that's really good. So, what else did I get? Uh, let me get to the clothes again. I got this lovely set for my granny, she's 88. And losing a lot of weight so it's a little pink top and then it has a matching cardi and I think you should love that and it's just a gift it's not for, beg my pardon it's not for Christmas it's by Rabe1920 I think she'll love that it's a walking in and out I have to stop and start so that's my granny. Then I've got a SpongeBob SquarePants jigsaw. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> a SpongeBob SquarePants, but SpongeBob SquarePants jigsaw. I need to check it out. 
and do it. I don't like jigsaws. <laughs> uh, oh, right, I think there's a couple in there anyway. I don't think they're just the one. And it's a 200 piece. So I'll do that tomorrow. So I've got a lot to pull that out. And then I've got Hit the Hat board game. I think it's Asta. Family Game by Cod Cod International Games. So yeah, and it needs a right good sort out. It's just... So I need to get it out and sort it out before reselling. <coughs> Excuse me. It was a bit of a pick it up and take it type of thing. Right, the piece does these dots. I like French. The piece does these dots. We have. I'll give you a little clue. Oh, it still smells a bit. <laughs> There's the bag. There's the side. We have it's Royal Silhouette Scottish Whiskey. And it's by Wade. It is a bottle by Wade. And I haven't got very good lighting, so I'm, I do apologise. So it has a light, uh, the stickers, all the stickers are still on it and it's it's quite, you can tell it's a good whiskey because it goes underneath, it's a, so if you can see it says Wade, it stinks, <laughs> it's not been cleaned out because unfortunately the cork's still in it, I think the whiskey's evaporated and the cork's still there, but Considering it's got the bag with it and it has no chips, okay, it has got a slight sticker that's been taken off a little bit, and it's been 1881 and founded, and it's um, by Wade. I'm gonna put that on. I've seen quite a few going for really silly prices. You know, some are going at three pound, four pound. £10. Well, I'm going to put this on at 20 Between 20 and £30 I'm going to put this on because it's in a very good condition. There's no chips, there's no breaks. See, there's even got the sticker at the back that has not come off at all. Like I said, it's just this bit and that bit there. But I'm well chuffed with that. I saw it and I thought, oh, that's mine. I'll put it in my basket. I did a supermarket sweep. As soon as I put sorry on the table, it's like, oh, I'll take that. And then I got a laptop bag by Halogen, or Helogen, and it's really good condition. It does need a good clean up and wipe down. Um, it's in bright red, and it's on the other side as well. It's really nice. It's a ladies' laptop bag, and you can it's just you can tell it's really good make and I've looked it online I can't find the exact one but the one I've actually seen online is about 150 to 200 pound um, this one I'm gonna put about 40 to 50 pound on considering it's such a good condition and the last thing I've got because I've got to bore you to tears otherwise is this lady passed me this and said can you try and sell it? So I thought, I'm gonna try and buy it <laughs> and resell it because you can't beat hand knitted baby things. <laughs> I just I just fallen in love with it. So I'm sorry, I love mint green. I love the the knitting is so good on this. We've actually made actually got a bedding set made from this lady. <coughs> so yeah it's just so sweet and then it's got a little hat and then some booties to match um, and I have no idea what to put on it so if you've got any ideas please write them down below <laughs> but I'm gonna go now um, thank you so much for watching these will be on my pick, uh, ebay tomorrow and I'll see you all soon take care everyone bye bye everyone bye